Oh yeah, check out the new ship designs that you guys didn't know about, but now you do. And hope too. <laughs> yeah. And check shit. Planet Hope, 2052. The humans arrived. The barren remains were only five centuries ago. Life was a muck on the surface. But now, a dust bowl. Set in that state by events preceding known history. Unless you've played Menagerie, of course. Isn't it a magnificent view? I wonder why we decided to settle on Hope when there are at least two more planets out there less barren than ours. The world you are eyeing will not be sufficient to sustain humans. One is a data structure held together by its rings, the other is a planet so alien it would be pointless to us. The natives of that pig planet are also formidable with magic. It would be a wasted effort. Hope will gain life with time, as will the splinters of humanity regain their hope. Your aid has been invaluable to us, messenger. I thought the main carnival was just another doomsday device that would bear no fruit. That people were overestimating its significance. Yet now I see how our ignorance cost us. We're most vibrant and dead with thanks to that monstrosity. I'm just glad it has not followed us. Our first lord's primary destination is destruction. It'll settle for whatever it can find. Will you be going back to check up on it? Our old planet. I will, but not until the time is right. I'm sure you're in no hurry to find out the mess your our people's damnation has made, are you? Hmm, you're right. <coughs> We have to leave the past behind. I confess, I feel more was only a learning device. Had we been left untouched, I can't say we'd have lived as long as we have. There's not many who could faithfully forecast that, for forecast that, and if there are, I'm not among them. One thing humans can be counted on for is their resilience. No war you had yet faced, no threat you had yet encountered had anything near the bones yet more, yet still, here you stand. Cut down to a sixth, but still, here you all stand. Humans are pretty great. I'd really love to know your name, Messenger. It's so impolite of me calling you by title all the time. Hmm. Well, if we stop playing puzzle games, then I'll consider it, gentlemen. You like dots and squares? It was my understanding that dots and squares was a universally good game, and no one could hate it. Am I wrong? I don't know, but once I'm given a break, I'll be happy to play dots and squares, even if I'm not very good at it. I'll do my best to make it enjoyable for you. <laughs> Humans, nearly wiped out, yet one kangaroo was able to do what they thought impossible. How? I must know. I must speak with the last kangaroo. Earth, 2102, 14th of September. I hope you're keeping track of the dates because I am not. I'm daydreaming a lot today. Uh, well, it's probably those radioactive truffles I ate. <gasps> hey, Roland! Roland! Wake up, sleepyhead! Ouch! The train is on the run! My penis on the run! God, I miss a fight for your errant spastic readout sometimes! Now hurry up! We got things to snack into. You. you gave me such a fright, Pep. I tried to wake you politely, but you see, there's a small problem. You sleep like a log. One of the big ass impossible kind that we'll see later in the game. Was that foreshadowing? No, that's rhetoric. Now get over here so I don't hold this dumb elevator twice. Okay, just let me get my balance. Boom. Yum, yum, yum! yum. Now I'm hungry again. And I could slap you for such an agonizing display of gluttony. Greenness and you black, it's official. Must make more foods. Oh sure, go cookies have a deep fried heart failure for all I care. Just do whatever you fucking do. Construct additional pilots. Good idea. <laughs> Why wash dishes when you can eat right out of the disposable carton? He's not joking. He literally doesn't keep dishes of any regard. Eat shit out of the cotton like a fucking animal. I am an animal, 
The point is that you're offending my face. Yum, cheddar. Mmm, leftover donut. It's my pies and muffins and stuff. Despite our differences, I think I can applaud your sense of taste more than so than our kibble-keeping kangaroo. Have you discovered a secret stash of incredibly inedible green things yet? Doesn't that describe everything she eats? Uh... Hmm. Oh, lips, us! Good God, who have we befriended? Hey, bro, later I'll trade you one of my red bean nips for some of those red muffins. Are you committing heresy? Are you going to let me? Just how terrible is this red bean dip? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of my mind? No? Why? No reason. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't keep my shit there. I'm sorry. That fart sound effect caught me off guard. All kinds of delicious beverages. Okay. What took ya? Too many truffles, I think. <laughs> well, hey, I have something else myself, so no big deal. That's my Pepe. You wouldn't be you without a challenging wake-up at all. Now follow me into the lift and we'll go see if Trixie's somehow even more difficult to wake up. Hey, she's already awake. I slept for 14 hours too. How about you fellas? I slept for about nine and way dog here. <laughs> Whoa, who even knows? What I do know is I had to use a horn to wake him up again. I forget how long I slept, but I do remember what I dreamt about. Hey, that's real neat, you really, but no one cares! What's the order of the day, Pepe? I'm with Rolly. You seem key about something. The market festivals today. And as you know, with excessive st overstocking comes excessive opportunities for less money busted folk like us. You aren't suggesting theft, are you? Do I look like a thief? Uh, no offense meant, but yes. At least, if you're asking from an entirely appearance based perspective, definitely. Messy hair, or a color from an influencing substance, you're prime jail bait. Oh, is that so? And what makes you think that? Mrs. I know everything about jail bait appearances ever! I was joking, dear. Your response is always worth it. Well, screw you two, little Miss Hoity Toy. Like I need you to tell me when I'm funny. Go on, you were gushing about the market. Right, right. These markets are great. We don't have to steal Jack. We just waltz in, see where already bought food is not occupied, and eat. It's how me and Roland keep ourselves fed. You're gonna have to learn to do it too, unless you're secretly burgling a secret stash of ribbons or some shit. Hmm, that sounds pretty lame. The amount of attention away from the market clocks means we could easily just get enough food to last the six months. Even with Roly's terrifying appetite. I think you might be onto something. The pound sounds like a convincing escape from reality all of a sudden. Don't you think so, Rolly? Don't you think that would be just super? Um, no. I think I speak for Rolly when I say that would be totally just bloody super. Oh, we could be boring and do it your lame way, whatever that ends up being. I do have a pretty bad criminal record, Tristy. If I can put away, it will be for a long time. Belly is growling, guys. It hungers for the riches of retail. Why are you talking to wedding now? Stop that. I'm the poetic pen there. Step off. My turf, you ninnies. Step the fuck off. <laughs> naughty, naughty. You said a bad word. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go see what we're faced with. If it looks like it'll be cinched, then okay. We'll do it your way, Tristy. I object, your imbibed honor. This scene is all wrong. Shut up and improvise, idiot. Criminal record? That's a secret I'm keeping to myself. Psst, yeah, but you know you said this yourself. Women always find out the truth. Always. Ring a bell. I'll be impressed if you do find out. But fake jars will predictable. What do I know? That's on my lips being pressed like a tight little handbag. Oh boy, that's a wordy session. Funny though. Oh, they smell pretty. Is it really? It is really comfy. But I've had a four, about four hours of sleep. I don't feel ready to face nappy justice just yet. Please don't do that thing where you eat the muffins, Rolly. Please. 
Okay. Oh, sparkly. Coffee? When did you start drinking this, Tristy? Healthy awesome bread. And the best part is, Riley won't eat it all. Healthy awesome food is my one weakness. Don Wily kangaroos. Nice clean dishes. Lord, the old ones are fine. I haven't had a chance to read them yet. Let's go to that tower. Sounds fun. We need to escape before because we were too busy. <laughs> 